let me tell you something very interesting. Light actually can carry both linear and orbital angular momentum. If you impart that particular linear momentum onto an object, it actually can push and in many cases it can also pull an object. In specific cases where light can carry angular momentum, you can induce a rotation onto the object of interest. Very interestingly, you can impart both spin angular momentum and orbital angular momentum onto the object with which the light is interacting. These kind of methodologies where you actually can impart momentum and understand the light matter interaction has turned out to be one of the fascinating areas in optical physics. There are so many questions related to this particular process that a whole area is now emerged to try to understand these kind of interactions. And generally speaking, these kind of interactions have also been pushed to the limits of mesoscopic materials. Meaning, you can now ask how does light impart momenta onto objects which are either microscopic or in certain cases even nanoscopic materials. So, to understand these kind of principles, there are so many questions one has to address. Of them, one of the interesting questions which I am trying to understand is, if you impart light onto objects which are microscopic or nanoscopic in nature, in addition to imparting the momentum, you actually can also transfer some heat, meaning the light which is now illuminating that particular object can now heat the object which is interacting with the light. This creates some very interesting thermodynamic process and also leads to some fascinating phenomena. For example, you actually can look at this particular thing and uh, ask to what extent can you use some kind of a temperature profile to, to understand these kind of principles. There is an area called as heat mediated optical manipulation where you actually can use the heat generated by the interaction of light with matter and use them to manipulate objects in real time. In my lab, for example, we try to illuminate gold nanoparticles and because of the fact that gold nanoparticles can absorb the light very efficiently, they increase the temperature of the surrounding in which the gold nanoparticle is placed. And having now increased the temperature of the surrounding, you now create a kind of a non-equilibrium system. And this particular non-equilibrium system elevates the temperature of the particle in comparison to the region of interest. And therefore the viscosity changes and sometimes also uh, the temperature actually varies a lot. And this difference of temperature leads to a very fascinating phenomena called as hot Brownian motion. So hot Brownian motion is kind of a new phenomena which has been now kind of studied which tries to understand how Brownian motion of objects can happen when the object's temperature is much larger compared to the surrounding. So hopefully I am going to make uh, some uh, explanatory video on this phenomenon at some point of time. I hope uh, you enjoy the background here.